it's a wonderful day once again and i'm so blessed to be having this conversation once again if you are new on our show this is the salanos and the tour tour family our mentors our power couple today we are going to handle a topic i tell you if you are interested in positive information matters family this is the show to watch and if you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly do subscribe because by doing so you help us reach many other families be blessed and stay tuned marriages are ending breaking children ending up on the streets because of simple things that can be corrected that can be avoided and that can just be left out infidelity is killing families destroying children and generation and even nation at all in this show naked and not ashamed we are going to say as it is infidelity its consequences and how we can deal with it welcome and to our power couple unajua ikifanya tua lazima tunaona zile zile tuanga oh my god wale wa india waki celebrate fireworks fireworks so when i when i said tua is the fireworks so and our fireworks our fireworks couple wonderful yeah let's dive into this topic i know you guys have a lot of experience over the years and you have mentored people who have gone through these infidelity issues. Yes. Maybe you can just begin by telling us what do you think about this topic? <laughs> wow, thank you so much. I want to say that infidelity is something that began way uh, after man was created because we see it even in the Bible and uh, infidelity was not God's original plan. Mm -hmm. This was what we call the permissive will mm -hmm. of man because we have the perfect will of God and the permissive will. Permissive will comes when you engage your will to making choices and making uh, decisions that are contrary to what God has already said. And so infidelity was not God's idea from the beginning. You but need to explain that better. Yes. Permissive will. Yes. Mm -hmm and perfect will. will. Oh yes. 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 Yeah, permissive will is whereby mm -hmm. you choose to do something mm -hmm. because you feel you are comfortable with it, but that thing is not consistent with God's will. Mm -hmm. And how do we know God's will from his word? Like for example, I may choose to be drinking, but according mm -hmm. to the permissive will of God, mm -hmm. I should not be drunk with wine, mm -hmm. which leads to reckless action, mm -hmm. but I should be filled with the Holy Spirit. That is in the book of Ephesians 5 verse 18. Wow. So, I may choose to divorce or I may choose to separate, mm. but that is my permissive will, but that is not the perfect will of God. Yeah. Perfect will of God is I and my husband, we may live together all the days of our lives until, until death do us apart. Maybe so, I can also add another yes. very good example, yes. which I think is very common. Uh -huh. um, I can be praying that God open a door for me to go to states yes. abroad. Mm -hmm. And I'm so much into this. Yes. I sow sins, I pray, I fast, mm -hmm. I go to Kesha, mm -hmm. and I mean get a visa mm -hmm. to go out of the country. Yes. That door can open for me as a permissive will. Yes. Mm -hmm. But not as a perfect will of God. Wow. Yes. So wow. I will say that a door opened for me. Mm -hmm. I am out of the country, yes. but it was purely. Permissive will of God. Oh yes, yeah. I think that's on on that vein is is where now infidelity comes in, because any person who commits infidelity means now you have a covenant with your husband and your wife. In other words, you are in marriage, but you choose to cheat. Because cheating is a choice. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can't just find yourself cheating. Mm -hmm. You must have lied, you have, you have planned it, mm -hmm. where to do it. Because you, nobody can remove clothes for you. And nobody can, can, can cause you to erect. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, you, are allowing, you are allowing the permissive will. What you want to do, you want to do it, even if you know it is not... It is, right. it is not yeah. right. Yeah. So permissive, many people are operating in marriage mm -hmm. in the permissive will, but it is not the perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. And then later on when things have gone haywire, we want to call God to come and intervene oh. in our permissive will while we knew the perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. And that's where the confusion comes in because at such a time God becomes silent mm -hmm. because you made a decision, you mm -hmm. made a choice to follow that which you know it is not right. Mm -hmm. So when things go haywire, that's when now we start telling people, pray for me, please uh, support <laughs> me please come and help me here uh -huh. but you knew from the beginning mm -hmm. that this is not the will of God most of the people who are married to one another 
somehow you knew that your husband, God will never allow you to get into, into marriage before you know that this person has a problem with women, but you ignored it. It was a red flag, but you ignore it. In fact, most of the people come for counseling. They tell me, but Pastor Sue, I had heard this, that my my wife come, goes out, go, sleeps out with other men, or my or my my husband to be was sleeping out with the ladies but i said probably he does that because he's not married mm -hmm. now that we are married we are married already he's now going it's like he has the permission to do whatever he wants so some of these things we already sense them god will make sure that you, you already know prior before but we tend to ignore yeah. because we want to follow our will this is the this is what you have focused and set your mind that you must do it i think i've learned two things from what you've said number yes. one yes Infidelity is not accident. It's not an accident. No. I was not. I was tempted. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, the way you said, yes. you plan. Yes. You make calls. Yes. You text. You, plan, you chat. Your you your sit partner. down with a very good plan on how you'll meet, yes. where and when, uh, with who. Yes. Then you take your taxi. You nafika paga hapo. You so it's a well planned thing for oh, yes. It's a choice mm -hmm. and it's a decision that you make that I'm going to commit adultery. Yeah. You get the point. And there could be other reasons why you are doing that. Mm -hmm. You could be on a revenge mission. Mm -hmm. Probably you, you also knew your husband also had sex with another woman or, mm -hmm. or, or you knew your wife has sex with another man. Mm -hmm. So you acted out of revenge. Mm -hmm. You also want to show him I can also go out, mm. you know. Sometimes most of the most of the infidelities comes as a result of us trying to to show the other partner at the way will in hurt. The, mm. the way you hurt me is the way I gonna hurt you. you. Is revenge. Yeah. So, uh, but and, and you mm, know what? Eh? Yes. Just to echo permissive and perfect. Yes. Will, eh? Because mm. that's exactly what is happening today. Yes. Mm. Most of the time, mm. and I think, can I say? almost all the time mm. yeah. the permissive will mm. will always end in pain mm -hmm. wow. it will end in regret mm -hmm. it will end with i wish i knew mm -hmm. there are two classical examples mm. i can now see right now mm. in the bible mm. the prodigal son mm. he insisted on having his light yeah. and yeah. what belonged to him yeah. the permissive wow. will okay mm. the father wanted him to stay with him mm. that was the perfect will mm. but when the father in, when the boy insisted mm. the father decided mm. the permissive will mm. yes and when he went we know how he suffered mm. how he regretted mm. how he was in pain mm. how he was wasted by the prostitutes yeah. how he wasted all the living exactly. all the money that he had yeah permissive will. Wait. The second one I can see mm. is about Ishmael and Isaac. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that was infidelity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was infidelity. Though, though given permission, <laughs> though given yes, permission by, up. Yeah, yes. I see, yeah. though given permission by Sarah, because Sarah is yes. the one who suggested. Yes. Abraham did not have that in mind. Yes. But but now uh, Sarah is the one who suggested after seeing yes. that she has stayed for too long without mm. a, a son. Mm. And I would, uh, from a, a natural point of view, mm. you would understand Sarah because remember, God never spoke to Sarah. God spoke to Abraham. Yes. So wow. she was getting information from the husband. All right. And sometimes we are like, did, did God speak to you? Mm -hmm. did you or you are just comforting okay. me? Okay. You stay without a child? Yes. So I think she thought of getting her permissive with, though she knew the perfect will of God that her mm -hmm. child would come through her. Mm -hmm. But she felt, no, probably God is not coming. Or this man could be comforting me mm -hmm. so that I don't feel, you know, I don't feel the pain of being a barren woman. Mm -hmm. And through that now, as you are saying, yes. she, su she suggested Haga, mm -hmm. who actually brought adultery and infidelity in the mm -hmm. marriage. And later on, there was regret, as you are saying, there was pain. pain. There was betrayal from this you lady. See? So it is true. It, when it is beginning, it looks okay. Mm -hmm. But the end result there, mm -hmm. eh, see, uh, the consequences I'm, are so hard. I'm, I'm wondering why eh. uh, God was giving men vision. Yes. But uh, when women came to give them suggestions, yes. they even forget about God. Look at Adam mm -hmm. about the, the fruits. Mm -hmm. yes. Eve was not there. Mm -hmm. Eve His stone was given. Mm -hmm. When God called Abraham, we did not call Abraham and Sarah, he called Abraham uh, yes. and gave him the vision mm -hmm. that you are going to be a father of nations mm -hmm. and make you an enemy. But when Sarah comes, comes with an idea, he mm -hmm. buys it. Mm -hmm. So I think also as men, we need to know mm -hmm. 
as the heads of family, mm -hmm. yes. as the vision bearers, mm -hmm. you should know, yes, that your idea is good, but mm -hmm. this is not what God said. Wow. And then number two, you mm -hmm. at the start you, talk, you talked about red signs, yes. about infidelity. Yes. Yes. This red sign comes before you get before married. Before you get mm -hmm. married. So, Mm. But you always say, ah, size na jua anajit because we are dating. Yes. But I know when he puts a ring on it, ah, this guy is going to change, he's going to be perfect husband. Yeah. Me always thinks that whatever happens during dating mm -hmm. will be amplified during marriage. Ah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dad has said something there that I mm -hmm. I really liked. Mm -hmm. He said the repercussions. Yeah. Yes. One of them is having an Ishmael out of your marriage, mm -hmm. which will come with 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 in you know, a child support support system. Oh. Okay. Low, low pursuit, yeah. those things. Mm -hmm. if, if you are a, a legal practitioner, you mm -hmm. can understand. Uh, nowadays, especially in our generation, mm -hmm. it is called the Generation Z. It mm -hmm. is glo they are glorifying infidelity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh -huh. Like when I disagree with my husband, mm -hmm. two days of one week, instead of me recollecting my, my, myself back somewhere to just think about my life, see areas of improvement and such like, I go to the market, I do my things, then he goes to the market and do the things. Thank you so much for following this program. <laughs> this is Naked and Not Ashamed. Ashamed. Yeah. Now, when you talk about infidelity, people are thinking about maybe cheating husband, mm -hmm. cheating wife. But infidelity comes in so many forms, mm -hmm. what you are going to discuss here today. So, back to our, our parents, our mentors. <laughs> 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 what are these types of infidelity that maybe we can talk about in marriage setup? Wow, I think there are different types of infidelity and the first one that begins is actually emotional because mm -hmm. like women you cannot have any sexual advancement with any man mm -hmm. or, in, or, or any man, let me say that, without the emotional attachment. Women are more emotional being. I know men can meet a lady and, and connect and have sex, but for a woman it's not so. If that happens then it's rape because I had not connected with you emotionally. And so we begin with emotional cheating, infidelity, mm -hmm. where you begin by flirting. Mm -hmm. You flirt with a lady or, or, or a man. You, hi, hi, how are you? How are you? Are you married? No, I'm not married. And I'm married. Mm -hmm. And most of the times you cannot cheat without knowing who are you cheating with. Yeah. You get that. Eh? So there must be a man, there must be a woman, mm -hmm. or there must be a lady or a small guy somewhere mm -hmm. whom you feel you have a clique, you know? Mm -hmm. And so so emotional uh, cheating is what begins first mm -hmm. before it is done physically. You see that. And that's why the man of God, Job 31 verse 1, he was very categorical. He said that he has made a covenant with his eyes that he will never look at a woman lustfully. Another version in Message Bible says that he will never undress a girl. Because these are things that happen. Because you begin with getting to know that person, getting attracted to them, probably their physical appearance, how they talk, maybe what they have achieved. And by so doing, you find steps by steps until now the boundaries are broken mm -hmm. yeah so you look at it and see it is true there's this man who is approaching me this lady who is approaching me mm -hmm. but what are the consequences number one to myself mm -hmm. and to my partner because mm -hmm. one of the things any person who is cheating you must be a professional and a pathological liar Mm -hmm. Yeah, wongo after wongo, wongo after wongo. Mm -hmm. Because now I have to keep on telling Pastor Monene, I have an appointment. <laughs> no, I, I am going to see another lady and I know it's a man. Mm -hmm. Me, I know the truth, but mm -hmm. wongo. So the first spirit that gets into oh, a couple, that begins to, mm -hmm. to, to think of having sex outside marriage, mm -hmm. is the spirit of lies. Mm -hmm. And we know very well what the word of God says, John 8, 44, mm -hmm. that the father of lies is the devil. Mm -hmm. Mom, in mm -hmm. short, we are saying if yes. you have a friend, yes. uh, an opposite gender friend who has to put you in a situation where you have to lie to your partner, yes. that's already is a danger zone. Yeah, when you begin to lie in marriage, mm -hmm. for whatsoever reason, you have started now having infidelity. In fact, so it begins. Is, in, you're sleeping around. You have better to jafika. Better to jafika. Time to go infidelity. Kiasa kuskiya unataka. The minute you start feeling you want to lie, cheat, mm -hmm. exaggerate, and, and add delete, something, delete, 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 delete text. text. Yeah. yeah. 
especially with you, you mm -hmm. as an individual, you feel your mind is now organizing mm -hmm. on how to lie, on how to say you have something that you want to do, and you know very well it's not true. Mm -hmm. You you have already thought about it, mm -hmm. you have seen it through. Even as you're coming to tell your partner, you already know the, from the, the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You begin with the lies, you. You begin as an individual. For you to be able to have to, to have infidelity, you begin with the lies. Mm -hmm. Because lies is what, what infidelity rides on. Yeah. yeah. So, Pastor, before you go to the next point, yes, I've been in two weddings mm -hmm. that I've been covering on my own. Yes. This is raw information that I've not heard from anywhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not told. I was in a wedding, and a man of God came to give advice to this couple, mm -hmm. and he told the lady, "If you want this your marriage to stand, mm -hmm. keep off your man's phone. And you man, mm -hmm. if you want your marriage to stand, keep off your wife's phone." Recently, I was also in another wedding again. The, the, the man who was giving a speech said that, a man of God, that marriages are doing very well. Marriages are very good. But there is one demon in a marriage. I removed this from this thing. This is the demon mm. in the marriage. Mm. And if you want your marriage to stand, keep off that man's demon. Don't touch it. Take it. Stay away from it. So, me, I'm like thinking now, it's like we are in marriages whereby. We are protected by, we, our marriage are only working because of our phone's password have not been known yet. Now, what can you say about secrets? Because before I go to sleeping with someone in Anzanga, I a protected password, message zangu, where is someone because I may protect, yes. where is access my calls. Mm. Yeah. You find that there are things you want to access to my phone. Mm. You can't see me, you can't see me, you can't which she can't access with her, fing her fingers or her eyes. Mm. So. Do we do I just give my wife my phone to check or it's a no go zone? I think I want wow. to say that when something is said by people who are in authority, mm. it looks like it's the law. But you see, we have to compare that with the word of God. Mm. The Bible says where there is love, genuine love, there is no fear. Mm. Genuine love mm. casts out fear. Mm. And so if we are living with Pastor Munene and he cannot assess my phone mm. and vice versa, then already that is infidelity. Mm. Thank you. I don't believe in that, 100%. Mm. I kind of feel like if you love mm. somebody and you can trust them with your body, yeah. mm -hmm. Nakedness. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't yeah. be able to hide your phone from exactly. nakedness. But it's so embarrassing that you not even nakedness. He penetrates in you. Yes. So <laughs> that's and sometimes you do horror. So this thing and has I become, yeah, this thing has become no. so private. The phone is more private no, than your no, private no, parts. No, 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 no. no, it is a that's myth. A fallacy. Mm -hmm. It is a fallacy and it's a myth from hell. Yeah. Me, I don't believe that. Mm. What is that that I'm hiding in the phone that Pastor Monene does not need to know? The first <laughs> seed planted mm. when infidelity begins to click in anyone's mind mm. is the spirit of lies. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. why is it that I don't want him to assess my phone and vice versa? Mm. Because I don't want it, him, I don't want to discover some things that will disturb my peace. Mm. I tend to think everything must be naked. Yes. Mm. Naked. I, I, I he should ac it. access my phone and everything else. Exactly. Because you should access your husband's phone and your wife's phone. Anytime. Because yeah. anytime because mm. your life should be naked. Yeah. You are, you should not be ashamed. Mm. It should be an open book. Mm. There's nothing you are hiding from one another. Mm. It is true we are calling the devil a demon, but you are the one who puts a demon in the yes. phone. Mm -hmm. When you bought that phone it was clean. Some phones whatever are blessings. Is, yes. Some phones are blessings. Whatever is in that phone. Mm. Whatever is in my phone and in his phone, mm. it is out of his choices mm -hmm. sure. and out of his you know out of his actions. Yeah. So there's no my phone can become a demon mm. if it is a demon i am the biggest the demon. demon so i don't believe in that myth that uh, don't don't touch your 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 spouse's phone uh, and all that let it let, no if we start putting that we are operating in in lies mm. and i have said the devil will, when he brings lies yeah. in marriage mm. you begin now to deviate from the truth yeah. i want to ask you if today i disappeared mysteriously the government of kenya Will look, will look for me using my SIM card. Mm. What was the last chat? Whom did I talk to? Mm. How did I? Who did I call last? last who did your last location? Mm. Where was I? If the government of Kenya, and I'm not married to the government of Kenya. Mm. Yeah. You get the point. Yeah. I'm married to Pastor Munene. So you are accountable to the government. Knows that if they want to get details, 
of what happened uh -huh. and this cannot happen in the name of Jesus. Mm. It is a myth and it has really spread because many counselors have said that, mm. many uh, clergies have said that, but even if something is repeatedly said, it is not the truth. We must walk in the truth and in the light just as, as Jesus is in the light. Yes. So, number one red sign of infidelity is that password that you can't access yes. on her phone yeah. or on his phone. Ah. Yes. So, I say, I'm faithful if you cannot access their phone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Red light. That's a red light. And That's a red, I think, yeah, red I think also, just to add to what Mama and Mr. Salano is saying, mm. this thing of the phone, keeping phone away from your spouse is just a coping mechanism for lies. Yeah. It's Thank like you. It's like putting a relationship you, over an ICU. Mm. Sustaining you. the sustaining the life of your marriage mm -hmm. or relationship by an a ICU mm -hmm. instead of just giving it life by being mm -hmm. open, yeah. transparency, putting your things in the open, which is more brings more life. Mm -hmm. Imagine mm -hmm. as a woman having sex with a man that you've never known their password, you don't know their life, you don't know what they've yeah. done, and you have to be emotionally available for that man. You see, that one is also a disconnect. Yes. Yeah. So we have yeah. to, to to if you want your life. You are a woman, when you are smart, Bibi Yangu Sijuya called towards me. Sometimes it's just those small things. Mm, She's wow. wondering, what is in that phone? Cindy? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yes, Kwacho. Yeah. So the phone speaks a lot, and that's when I infide in fact, infidelity begins with the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it begins with the phone. Mm. So if you're not able to access the phone, mm. then that infidelity will continue, and it might be diverse with the different mm. people. Yeah. You get that. So, yeah, so the phone, you need to, ac to access the phone of your partner there's nothing wrong with that mm. it, you should be an open book you should be able to share everything mm. and as Berry has said if you're having sex when you are naked and having children mm. why would a phone be so important more than my partner and that's mm. why we have always said never ever create a relationship with something that is not living mm. a phone is not living mm -hmm. money is not living yes. a car is not living mm -hmm. anything else that we have acquired with pastor Monen, it is not living mm. so the person i'm supposed to create a relationship mm. with it is Pastor Munene and Pastor Munene, Pastor Su. Infidelity mm. uh, begins not first of all, if you begin with the money, mm. it will end up getting you to having another relationship with someone. And I was saying there are so many people who are struggling because th th there is that kafia. Mm. And you see, uh, as you have said, why is there that fear? Because people are coming in marriage with a double mind. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, James 1 verse 8, a double-minded person mm -hmm. is unstable in all things. In all things. <laughs> all things. All things. Not all things. things. In marriage, in finances, mm -hmm. in rearing children, you are, you are, you are a double-minded person is unstable in all things. Mm -hmm. Then the word of God says, let this person know. Let it be very clear. He will receive nothing from the Lord. Mm -hmm. So anytime you get into marriage and you have a fallback, mm -hmm. you will fall back completely. Exactly. Because already you have opened the door mm -hmm. for the enemy. You have not trusted God mm -hmm. who, who originated marriage. Yeah. And you see, because it has been done by so many people, it looks like it is the right thing to do. But I came to tell us mm -hmm. that if really you are getting into marriage, enter in eight in two legs. Yes. Kabisa. Mm -hmm. The only thing you need to do at the foundation, at the foundation when you are beginning to date, to court, you need to understand understand this person very well mm -hmm. and there are four things that I keep saying that you must you must check on them number one you need to understand this guy and this boy is their history in their family of which which witchcraft because witchcraft can can really destroy has really destroyed families especially in Africa and witchcraft in Africa is real if you if you don't know come over you will know witchcraft is there so you need to understand the family that you are going, you are getting into. Mm. It, do they struggle with witchcraft? Because it means if you are getting married to me and my mother is a wizard, it means it will also affect your children, mm. and it that's, will also affect me. Spirit. So yeah. that's something that will affect. It. Are you ready to fight the demons of witchcraft until death do us apart? So you must be prepared for that. Mm. Number two thing is there mental mental sickness in this family that you are getting married into. Mm. Eh, watu upululu, wana, 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 wana pululu, <laughs> wana, 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 wana rukwa, wana rukwa na kini, because you need to be prepared that if it is so and it runs in the family, mm. these things may catch up with you. Mm. You get the point, eh? Mm. And that's why you find people killing one another. Kumbe, there is history oh. of madness in the family. Yeah, insanity, mental sickness. Yeah. You know, men, there was, there is a history. Mm. 
-hmm. And you even told the, the mother, the mother killed the father, or the father killed the mother, or the uncle. And there are a lot of people who have been killed in that family. That's a sign of mental sickness. Mm -hmm. Another thing you need to check is that family. Is their history of, of alcoholism? Mm -hmm. Because there's no, there's no family that drank at Walikua the best alcoholic mm -hmm. and they made the best marriage. Hakuna kitu kama iyo. Alcoholism is one of the causes of separation and divorce and infidelity, mm -hmm. whether money or whether sexual. I feel touched. I feel touched. Yes. I feel touched because <laughs> I come from a family where <laughs> drunkenness yes. is what caused the separation of my parents. Yes. I can actually say that's what that was what made my parents my divorce. Yes. Drunkenness, drugs. Smoke. Are they alive? The, the father is alive. Oh, the father the mother is, is not here. Yeah. Oh. So I think it's a factor. Mm. Surprisingly, yeah. what has really helped me is uh, uh, this thing that you asked. They said that now that you are a new believer, mm. the old is gone. Mm. A new, a new. You are a new beginning. Yeah. Mm. Now you live. You are a new creation. Mm. So that thing, I think, it helped me because yeah, Second Corinthians five verse yeah, seventeen. you are now a new creation. Yeah, that that if anyone mm. is, is in Christ, Christ. Yeah. you are a new creation. So the if, old is gone yes. and the new has come. Yes, wonderful. So these things mm -hmm. are actually true because my husband is coming from a very dysfunctional home, mm -hmm. and I think that is one of his motivation to have this show. Mm. Yes, because if were it not for God, mm. he couldn't have seen it the way. He's seeing it. Is there something he has to fight for the sake wow. of his generation? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you find eh, the daddy never fought it. Mm -hmm. The big brother never fought it. Mm -hmm. The big sisters. He's number seven. Mm -hmm. He's the one. That's why you really need to. <laughs> instead of hating on our family, you need to be praying for us wow. and wishing as well, mm -hmm. because we have to break this generational something mm -hmm. for on behalf for the sake of our children. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So we, we 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 are saying if you have God. And mm. I mean knowing God, not just going to church on Sunday, mm. there is a bit of hope. Mm. Yes. Yeah, there is a bit of hope and mm. maybe working with mentors mm. and uh, having the right information. So far we are 13 years and I think mm. so far those are the things that I can say mm. have really anchored us. Wow. Yeah. Well, I agree with you because most those are the things that we don't look at, the belief system of a person that you are marrying to or you are getting married to. So we are just we just, we are just we just look at the physical things. And mm. you see, when you look at a person from a physical th point of view yes. you have not looked deep enough mm. because a person is not what you can see exactly. there is a lot of things that are behind them mm. the, the, the the family pattern mm. as I was explaining exactly. the, the fourth thing that you need to be very careful is is their history of marrying and remarrying yes. because mm. that's where now infidelity comes in mm. because if there is a history of marrying and remarrying mm. it means when you come to my life you've got to know this spirit does not like marriage yeah. it wants you to keep on divorcing marrying divorcing, I'm marrying. also feeling touched yes. because wow. that's <laughs> You know, uh, yes. it has happened so much. Having children out of wedlock, it yes. has happened so much. Mm. So it's something yeah. that I. But uh, can I tell you, yeah. you'll be amazed. Mm -hmm. Almost ninety-five percent of the people who are listening to us, mm. we are victim of the four. Yeah. Okay. The, the four, the four things that we have talked of: mm. witchcraft, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mental mental illness, mm. you know, alcoholism, mm. and this this, this other one, marrying and remarrying. Yeah.